Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in today. My name is Julie and today we're fix fixing a shrimp creel that I really think you're gonna enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the no notification bell and we're gonna just jump right in and get started. In my pan, we have a quarter cup of butter. I'm gonna cut that on to medium heat and I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of avocado oil. Then we are going to, normally I would use, use fresh garlic, but I'm actually out, so I'm gonna use some minced garlic. I have two stems of celery, I have one large onion, and I also have, you normally wanna use two sweet peppers. I actually just had some of those mini peppers in my refrigerator today, so that's what I'm using. I'm, if you can see a couple of different colors there. Normally I would just use two sweet peppers. We're gonna throw all of that in the pan. One tablespoon of our Cajun seasoning and just a quarter of a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. Let that saute for 10 minutes, and then we'll add a few more ingredients. Our vegetables have been on for about 10 minutes. The onions are nice and soft. We're gonna add two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of fresh parsley, one can or 15 ounces of just plain tomato sauce, and to get the rest of that out, we're gonna, we're, not, we're gonna be adding one cup of water, so I'm just gonna pour it into this can to get out some of the rest of that sauce in there. Dump that one cup of water in. Now we're gonna bring this to a boil. It has come to a boil. We are going to uncover, cut the heat down to low, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. This has been simmering for 10 minutes. Now we're at, ready to add our shrimp. And these have been peeled and deveined. Make sure they're nice and clean. You don't want any gross stuff floating around in there. And this is one pound. And we're gonna add these in. We're gonna bring it to a boil and let it cook for about six, five to six minutes until those shrimp become pink. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna get some rice ready. I have some water, butter, and salt in this pan. And I'm actually just gonna eat this with a, just an instant brown rice. So. Whatever it says on the box, just prepare according to the instructions on the box. Now that we have the shrimp in, we're actually gonna turn the burner back up to between medium and high so that it can come to a boil. And we're also gonna cover it. Then once it does get to a boil, we're gonna reduce it to medium and that's when we'll let it cook for five to six minutes. All right, folks, our shrimp is thoroughly cooked and our rice is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this up, give it a taste. My favorite part of the entire process has come. Let's give it a try. We got some rice on there. Got make sure you get a piece of shrimp in that first bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Make sure you drop down below and the recipe will be listed there and also on my Instagram page, the retro apron, all one word. Also, it would mean so much if you would leave a comment below on recipes that you would like to see cooked in my kitchen. Thank you so much for stopping in. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.